Hello everyone and welcome back to Elchius Plays Pacific Drive. I'm recording this one kind of off the back of the previous one because I have the spoons to do so, so I'm getting it done quickly. Taking off all of these steel panels, and I did actually get a free steel panel from the dumpster, <coughs> the friendly dumpster, but now I'm wondering if I want them at all because I've replaced them with insulated panels. It's one of the things I wanted to spend basic limb on um, in here, and I learned it, and they're not that expensive. It takes a lot of plasma. Each one costs some plasma, but <coughs> we've got a ridiculous amount of plasma. We've got more than enough resources to make these. And remember, the, uh, the, the tips between levels told us that this will extend its influence to the things around it. So a couple of insulated panels and a couple of armoured doors. The armoured door should armour the insulated panel, and the insulated panel should insulate the armoured door <coughs> to, a, to a lesser degree than it is owned insulation level but you get the idea so I, I honestly i think maybe we just shuffle these away at this point um i put the lightning rod i was i'm in an r ring i don't know if i left that in about whether to keep my spare lightning rod that i made by accident or just grind it up uh i kept it and i'm pleased that i did because my lightning rod from the last round was a bit you know bit the worst for wear. And I had a, a reasonably well-preserved one. It's waiting for me. My mouse is struggling on this surface. This is a problem I had with Quake 2 a few times, and I think it's because when it's a warm day, I sweat. <laughs> now the surface of the table is a bit sweaty. Ugh. You didn't need to know that. All right, let's pull this lever and then we'll go somewhere. So we've got two opportunities, two ways to go. Ooh uh, hey devs, <laughs> if you stand on one of the things that's being hoovered up, you freak out. Um, okay. We could go... Basically, both directions, both options have um, their issues. In either direction, we have to go through an extreme condition area and leave from that area. Right? <clears throat> it's... We're not going to get to here in this run. We're going to get to here or here. Now, why does this one have an arrow, but this one has dots? I can't go here. Oh, does the dots just mean you can't actually take that route? But we know... No, because you can take this route. I don't know what these dots mean. What's the difference between dots and just the arrows? Maybe we don't know that this connects to here, but we know that this one... Oh, right, yeah, maybe. We haven't followed that route. I haven't travelled it, but we know it's there. Gotcha. Right, so let's just... I think we'll just go here. <clears throat> it's what I've got selected. It gets us some... Uh, level 2 limb, some unstable limb. And it gets us towards our destination. And it seems to be just as dangerous as going the other way, so... Much of a muchness as far as I'm concerned. Right, car on. Ah, actually, maybe I'll prepare myself slightly by having a look at the conditions along the way. Uh, you think? So we're going to have <clears throat> heavy fog, don't worry about that. Intense radiation and corrosive waterways. Now, intense radiation might just mean don't get out of the car. Uh, anchor party sounds good. Not recognised, not recognised. Swift storm. Uh, and we're going to want to leave quickly anyway, so I don't know if we're going to spend too long in these places. So maybe their conditions are not that relevant. Um, intense radiation. Like, I was thinking of maybe learning the lead panels to deal with the intense radiation. That's probably what you're supposed to do. But I'm just going to deal with it, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I'm going to be a maverick about it and just leave. Ooh. Accept. And they're off. Alright, I'll see you somewhere interesting. Right. There's a small amount of limb, there's some heavy fog. I think we can just easily deal with this place and move through quickly. It's not um it's not a simple task, like the one we had in the last episode where we just turned right and left, but uh not turn not as in a left right. You get the idea. We turned right and exited. 
the antics. Um, swiftly, that was fun. And uh, I don't even know if we need this much, uh, you know, stable limb anymore. But I don't know if there's a limit, so I'm just going to keep hoarding it. I'm not sure if I brought my Liberator. I think I did. Oh, hello. Right then. Crash. Careful. You look away for a second. And there's a... Tr well, it just spawned in front of me. It must have done. Check the footage. It wasn't there. I can't make anything because I haven't looted anything. <laughs> so I can't get in here. Alright. Right. I know why I'm not wanted. Oh, I'm not welcome here. Please leave. <laughs> no! Get out. I wanted to know what happened if I was going fast and then got out of the car, <laughs> considering the the parking brake turns itself on when I do that. It confuses it, that's for sure. I haven't seen one of those for a while. Tin can friend. I've got a new bit of lore. We've got plenty of blue paint. Please don't spawn another tin opener right underneath my car. Oh, I forgot to mention and indeed do anything about the fact that my limb emitter, my limb pulse emitter, has become dodgy. It's unreliable, so the, the X that can't be repaired, uh, it simply means unreliable. Okay, It's not like this is broken forever, but it kind of is. <laughs> it means you can't rely on it, I suppose. I, <clears throat> I'm going to assume that it means that Sometimes when I use my limb pulse emitter, it's just going to say no, but still cool down or something. Like, uh, there's probably a consequence to it. Beyond just um, getting zapped. Or failing to get zapped, and then you just press the button again, and it works. It just seems like not a penalty. But I can make another one, for sure. I just didn't. I'm certain we're going to have the resources to do so. Uh, it, it, does, it does seem like one of those things that's designed to make you spend the resources you've got a ridiculous amount of already. Ah! What? <laughs> Just spawn that on me. Uh, charge up my car while I... Look. I'm going straight ahead anyway, so we'll go this way. Whee! Uh, a bit of fixing might be required after this onslaught. <coughs> I didn't even see that one. Probably not. <laughs> not the smartest thing to do is to just not pay attention to the ground, which could send you into the air. Uh, this doesn't seem like a thing I can get it. I mean, the <laughs> the lines on the map. Oh, it's it's a switchback. We know about switchbacks. The ISO, the ISO lines did seem to... They're not called ISO, the contour lines. ISO lines are for the weather. ISO bars for the weather. Come on. You know what I mean. They were telling me everything I needed to know. Look, there's the fuel here. Just Don't waste... Let's see. Let's use the... I can't even find the gas cap underneath this. Lot. 
I wonder what a flat tire looks like on the damage report. Next time we get one, remind me to have a look. Or go back to when we did have one and have a look at the the damage readout before I fixed it. We've recorded some, but the, the internet will know there is indelible historical evidence. If only we're, anyone is brave enough to look through it. I don't like going up this switchback. Hello. Even less now. Crash. It's fine. Shh. Don't worry about it. Shush. This is a simple zone one limb journey and I've already managed to get two parts of my car to yellow status. Oh, hello. But if we hang out here, we get a proper charge up. There we go. Yeah. That white electricity is the best. Now I've got four sections. My insulated headlight takes the most damage from electricity. I can't help but notice. I will heed the warning to go do only 35 miles an hour. Because it gives you <laughs> a little bit more time to react to can openers trying to cut you in half. I suppose insulated things might be weaker to physical damage, right? Well, maybe I don't need an insulated bumper now that I've got two insulated headlights. Um, so I'm going to ignore that because I don't do it. Just fixing those up. Check my tyres. This armoured door is now unreliable. Goodness me. Oh, I didn't do the bonnet. Go. Look, the impulse emitter got an X on it. Can't be repaired. Hopefully it works when I need it. Yeah, maybe we should be a little bit more strategic about the... You know, what we put where. The, the types of items. We could probably get away with a couple of lead plates, for example. Some lead panelling. Um, we don't need every door to be armoured. We're here. We could go there or there to get to the same place, I think. This is the rest stop that had the really cool runway thing on it. Uh, and this has got high instability, so I think we'll just go here. And don't run out of... Corrosive waterways sounds bad. Because these... This zone... This zone 2 zone... Has corrosion. Waterways. Oh, gosh. Maybe I should have had a nap before I recorded this. Right, here we are in zone 2. Oh, that's a different one, look. I kind of expected that, but also I didn't expect it, if you see what I mean. So intense radiation, presumably... Okay, so the radiation isn't everywhere. Oh, I don't like the rain. Is it corrosive rain? Maybe. Uh, but maybe there's more radiation things like that, and maybe the radiation things are themselves more... Uh, irradiated. So let's just go carefully. We've got new things to explore. There's two limb things, and we can go further. We are going further, so we don't have to collect everything that we find. I am hoping to find um, some resources. Especially the... Those marsh eggs are very valuable. <laughs> very valuable indeed. We should check these um, cars as well. You, you, know, you never know what sort of high-quality equipment you're going to get. Just in the sort of same areas... You know, are the, are the abandoned cars better abandoned cars in this place than they are in the other place? No. But they could have been. Corrosive waterways, I assume, will damage me as well as the car. Don't really need any of them things just now. Those crystals. I need thermosap crystals, probably. Because they do go into car parts. Oh, and that new uh, vacuum cleaner that I haven't made yet. That's really handy. Look, it's just right here in the road. Exactly what I was asking for.
when this vacuum cleaner breaks, I will make the new one, I suppose. The new one has a light on it. Ooh, 5k. Oh, but look how little health we're losing, despite that, because of our upgraded equipment. I'm into it. That was the problem. I want to... That's... That's level 3 limb. I'm going for it. This health loss seems to be as bad, it, it, just in my estimation, it seems as bad as health loss was when we were getting irradiated in the first like few episodes by normal radiation in Zone 1. So that was really good. I'm glad there was a corrupted anchor. That's amazing. Uh, uh, and a whole bunch of marsh eggs. And I'm actually going to eat food rather than use electricity to heal myself. Seems like a good idea. Or just use one of these. I've got several of them. I've got me all the way to full health. I think that's 50% HP in each one of those. So that's three lives I've got in there. Well, not anymore. I didn't know. Well, I have a dumpster pill back home that I was going to open on camera. I left it for you, but I forgot about it when I started recording. So we'll see about that when we get back as well. Eh? Uh, and we somehow need to try and figure out how to get to this limb here without driving into or over anything bad. Well, I can hear it. Oh, it's two corrupted limbs in the same... <coughs> I didn't know you could get corrupted limb on this side of the... It's not corrupted. Where is it? Fine. You know what? Uh, okay, that's a... That's an unstable limb. But wow, some corrupted limb. From this place. I wonder if that's n part of the. Uh... Yeah, just barge through. It's fine. There it is. I wonder if it's part of, like, one of the effects this place has. Maybe the irradiation. I also wonder if maybe these these chaps would like to make way. Uh oh. <laughs> it spawned things under me again. We really need to stop doing that. Look at that. No chance. As soon as I'm in the car, it has an effect. On the car. Oh, jeez. Let me out. Right. I guess we can leave. We can try anyway. Let me out. I'm, I'm conscious that the current levels of radiation may be excessive for the car. So we should just get out of here. Um, we're not desperate on fuel. So I don't need to, This is a rest stop, so I'm guessing that's probably... Oh! Except... There's another tape. We'll get that. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing that somewhere in here there's going to be a petrol station, maybe? Yeah, over there. It's on the main road. We could do it. Um, so we want to get that tape. For sure. For sure. For sure. No, oh, maybe we'll go around the hill. Uh, not worry about the impending storm. I hope it's not a seismic storm. Because those are very annoying. I do appreciate that the lore items that you can find do somewhat uh, incentivize opening everything and looting everything. 
Although they're the only bits that don't come with you. One of the few things that don't come with you when you loot everything with the loot everything button, so. Swings and roundabouts, I suppose. Maybe unreliable wheels, for example, just come loose more or get flats more. So you don't have to replace them. They're not broken. But they're going to need attention more often. wonder if that's the same with the limb emitter. Where's my mysterious tape, then? O oh, tape of mystery, show thyself. Oh, it's this thing. <laughs> I was just ignoring it. Turns out I was actually looking for it. Uh, zone receiver. We'll listen to this. We like listening to this. Welcome back. This is Frequency Music. File, Episode 2. In the last episode, I told you about the curious case of Dr. Ophelia Turner. When it comes to this enigmatic individual, one of three versions is true. Myth, martyr, or monster. Mm. To be able to weigh her in turn as heretic, genius, or scapegoat, we must first set the stage. And I started down this path to discover who she was, what she did, and ultimately what happened to her. I didn't expect it to lead me to one of the strangest mysteries of the Pacific Northwest, the Olympic Exclusion Zone. But let me rewind a bit. In Northwest Washington State, there are 3,600 square miles of vibrant wilderness called the Olympic Peninsula. Bounded by water on three sides, it was a wonderland for outdoorsy types. Snow-capped mountains and sand oh, oh, rivers oh. and pristine... It's coming in through the... Up until 1955, it was the residence of 100,000 people, including Ophelia Turner. It was her birthplace, her hometown, and, it turns out, ground zero and sacrificial lamb for the promise of limb technology. In true fashion, the government never comes out and says that's what led to the creation of the Olympic Exclusion Zone. But the chain of events were in plain sight. Accident, Probably just steal stuff from you, I guess. Claim of domain, what do you have? Seizure of the peninsula, the evacuation of 100,000 people, and the attempt and abject failure at containing the rumors that spread like wildfire. Because it turns out, even with the government's resources at your disposal, Mine. keeping secrets is a tricky business. You can bet there was plenty of time. Didn't seem to want that, huh? Ooh. Lucky me, because I had plenty of questions. <laughs> Okay, yeah, probably stole stuff. Now we know. I wonder if you can uh, limit, and then when it tries to get you, it bounces off of it. Ah, it's time for Animaniacs. Nope. Time for getting out of here ASAP, which is what we're doing anyway, so... You're yelling about it, but I'm already up to it. No more obvious marsh eggs, so um, I'm not going to worry about looking too hard, sticking around at all. You can feck off and all. Slow, slow storm. It's fine. The uh, the fast storm thing certainly said whilst we were there you know hey this means the storm comes in really fast watch out basically but when we were there in the fast storm zone it didn't it came in about this fast as fast as it's moving right now which possibly there's just sort of a weighted uh, randomness so is more likely to be a quick one. It doesn't seem like there's any consistency to how fast the storm comes in. But it's not you're not scaring anybody, okay? That's my point. Anything here that we want? Not really. Might be some law in there, but I don't care. Let's move on to the next horribly scary place that we can't stand. Virulent acid. 
Guess we'll see. Oh, right, so we should learn about what virulent acid means now We can when we read the law. Um, let's look sort down. Virulent, the acid that com compounds detected in this part of the zone have a remarkably low viscosity, which means they will slide past car defences with ease. Okay, anchor party. Chance coincidence or an attempt to control instability mean this part of the zone is crammed with anchors. There are several, which is good. And there's another thing. Look at that. Um, so we can leave whenever we want to. We've already picked up enough limb to get out of here. I'm hoping that maybe one or two of these anchors that we're looking at um, will be corrupted. It would be nice to start getting into the corrupted, um, you know, the things locked behind corrupted. It's already, already storming at me. And it's going to come in fast, isn't it? Should we even bother trying to get... <laughs> this is rude. Maybe we just leave. Oh geez, everything is spicy. Oh jeez. Also, there's a, an anomaly here. Got it. Moldy balloon. Oh, we needed that. That is an unstable one. I'm not going to worry about it. This we do what with? This? I did ask for one, so... Here we are. Uh, the storm is not even moving. <laughs> Let's not panic so much then, huh? Oh, I think Moldy Balloon was actually one of the things we needed to scan for the level 3. Like, the there was a corrupted unlock. Something that needed a corrupted limb to pay for, but Moldy Balloon is in this zone. So, that's cool. It's a little bit grim. Just saying. The whole place is green as well. Like, they've really lent into the acid. Um, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Yeah, slow, slow storm. Okay. There we go. Plenty of thermosat. Quick check in here, just in case. Since we're here and all. Okay. Um, should be some limb to pick up just over here. You can hear it. The, uh, the purple was in an area. <laughs> like, the stuff around the purple seemed itself corrupted. So, I wonder if that's uh, a mechanic, basically. Second one over here, something. Also unstable, but also fine. Oh, they didn't even get me. Losers. You did. Pick it up. I haven't scanned it yet. Look at that. Sorted. Got some decent stuff from here, considering the storm came in as soon as we arrived. I think that'll do for now, though. One thing it might be worth doing, I've realised actually, literally just this second, it could make sense to um, 
Like, to actually walk to the limb anchors. Because, of course, they... Uh, oh, I want to get that. Mm, I want to get the law. Uh, they're gonna... What am I saying? They do stuff. They make instability spawn around them. And if your car's within that, that seems like a bad thing. So maybe it's sensible, really, to walk to them. Let's follow the road. <laughs> it's also sensible to do that. It might be sensible to walk to the limb anchors so that the instability doesn't actually affect your car that badly. There's a lot of these thermosaps. I can't stop collecting them. I need them. Oh, my thing broke. I'm not doing myself any favours, am I? <laughs> Just trying to do all of this while the storm's coming in and I want to get... that lore as well. Right, that'll do. Be sensible about this. How can I be sensible when there's so many things to do? And there's a storm. Storm. The other type of storm. <laughs> oh, gosh. Careful. We can come back for the resources, okay? This is not the end of the zone. It's not the last opportunity we have to be in the zone. I think I've got a flat tire. Ah, I see you now. We'll fix the flat tire forthwith. Once we've got this thing. Well, once we've got it. We need to get out, is my point. I'm not going to get out, get in, get out again. Ceiling kit, ceiling kit, ceiling kit, ceiling kit. Here we go. Uh, this one. Thank you. And we can listen to the. Here it is. Oh, it's noisy here. Hopefully, we finish the story first. Let's go and get which was to be headed by Dr. Turner herself. Over the next fifteen years, the thing. government expands the zone's borders. They clear out civilians as they go That's not. and erect oh, maybe. five hundred meter walls to keep out an increasingly curious public. The zone started in the northernmost tip of the peninsula, then expanded outward twice. Once in 
1951, again in 1957, to the outer perimeter we see now. I don't want to. <laughs> I've changed my mind. The story ended, I didn't need to kill any more time, and that red storm's coming in faster than I thought it was gonna, so we'll just um get out of here. There's a second if I'd waited a little bit longer, there's a second payload that's fallen from the sky. Oof. That went okay. I have to say. Got 0.3 corrupted limb, which is Bring back anything crazy. Good this time? Yeah, corrupted limb. You know what that means, right? The concept of corrupted limb is a bit, a bit off to me, to be honest. It's supposed to be waves of some description. Look how much of a wreck this car is, and there's only so much room in here. This is fixed. That's handy. What have you got to say for yourself? Is known by a variety of aliases, including the Rainforest Rogue, the Washington Wanderer, the Green Avenger, McKnife, or simply Scott. State police are frustrated by interagency bureaucracy and miscommunication that prevents them from pursuing suspects into the Olympic Peninsula, where military police insist only they have jurisdiction. Local politicians also feel this increasingly secretive. That is law related to the other law that we were learning about. I think that's the... There was a killer-type murderer dude, right? That was something that we learned? Bad at parking. It just says quirks. <laughs> okay. You can have this. Bam. Right, I think I will... Not go out again. Let's call that an episode. This is might end up being a bonus episode, sort of crammed in between. Uh, aren't you lucky? So, turn to your wounds. Oh, oh. Uh, let's <clears throat> let's see what we've got to do. I think. Well, let's see what's happened here, because my theory was that that would make. Yeah. So now this place is corrupted. This place is cleared out. And this place is cleared out. These places are still not even trying. <laughs> what are they doing? Can I get here? No stable exit, so we can go from there to there if we wanted to. Get another highway that goes all the way across. I wish that would link to here. Um, so we have to go to an extreme condition place, but we always have to go to an extreme condition place. But maybe next time we want a bit of a leisurely ride and we take the um, the zone one to, to make it a little bit easier to get to that place without having to go through a heavily corrupted zone two, right? That seems scary. Um, so, uh, I will repair my car off camera as usual, um, and let's do the, the law dump, so if you're not interested in the law dump, which I'm sure you are, I don't know why I keep saying that, but, you know, you don't have to watch, I'm not, oh, wait, before we do that, let's see what's in here. What? <laughs> that just gave me a Liberator Mark II. That's amazing. Um, I, know, I know that you're interested in the Lord of us, so stick around anyway. Where did I put... Did it steal my... What happened to my... I only used one of these. Oh no, there they are. <laughs> um, so I don't know why I keep saying you should go away, but I do. Uh, and if you are staying for the law dump, then maybe stop watching me do this and tell me to do the law dump. Look, I've got another dumpster pull. You can watch this and then you can go. Free liberator? <laughs> Free next level stuff? No, okay. Um, so, thanks for watching. If you're not interested in the law, if you'd just like to watch me drive around and loot stuff, but if you are staying, let's do the law dump now. Logbook. Zone receiver. We've, again, known about it forever, and now we're just learning about it because I keep forgetting to scan it. Our debriefing recorded August 30th, 1970. Okay, everyone, the new receiver designs are ready, and I promise these ones won't be so edible. I'm being quite serious here, folks. Last year's rash of signal-hungry anomalies, the ones that would chow down on anything broadcasting across lower bands, absolutely tanked our comms budget and cut hundreds of us off from the outside world. 
The alloys we're using now combined with the new standard frequencies mean nothing's going to be chewing up our broadcasts anymore until it adapts to it because uh, of evolution. Now, let's get these deployed as soon as possible and make sure each has a recording cache fitted and get those parts welded on tight. I'm not letting another one of these fall into the hands of that self-proclaimed guerrilla radio group. Who knows what kind of nonsense signals they're picking up from the outside world, or even worse, beaming out. It's all on our heads if that happens again. Which is presumably what we're listening to. Moldy Balloon, transcript taken from psychiatric debrief... Psychi psychiatric... Mm -hmm. Debriefing of Sergeant Dale Farrow, April 20th, 1969. I'm so sick of it, man. I'm so done with this place. You know how I felt looking at that giant bounding ball of death just heading down the street today? I felt like the whole world is out to get us. It isn't safe here anymore. We can't protect the scientists, the engineers, nobody. We've got these things out there shooting toxic snot around every day, and they act like people don't even exist. And they're mindless. It's not like you can reason with any of these things, you can't talk to them. I don't know how to predict how any of them will behave. I don't know what they want. If they want anything. All I know is I want out. Every day we go out there and we're in danger like nothing I've ever seen before. I can't sleep at night because I'm so scared and because I don't even know if the barracks are safe now. Listen to me, Chen. We're going to lose more soldiers. We're going to lose more people. We shouldn't be here. We shouldn't be doing this. Dust Bunny. Harder training, real fragment. Origin unknown. Circa 1962. That's right, soldier. Give him the boot. The army hasn't issued you hard-wearing weatherproof boots for nothing. Your footwear is also anomaly-proof. So get right in there with a good... Get right in there and greet those hangers-on with a good firm kick. I haven't tried kicking things for a while, actually. That's sun. That's how it's done. See how Harry here takes a moment, makes sure he has some leverage, and squarely aims the heel of his boot right at the centre of the anomaly? It's easy. One swift kick, and the thing is loose. Remember, don't use your bare hands, and don't touch the anomalies with any exposed skin. Always be sure to check all around your vehicle, particularly on the roof, and only continue your journey once you can be sure you've cleared off all the hangers on. See how Harry here does a full circuit? You won't believe where all the places these guys find to attach themselves. There he goes again. Good job, Harry. Give him the boot. And don't worry. They don't feel a thing. It's not like they're alive. I haven't tried kicking them. I want to try kicking them now. Forests of waterways. The groundwater in this part of the zone is almost pure acid. Rivers and lakes will inflict substantial corrosive damage. Intense radiation. The hot dust in this part of the zone is especially intense and will be even more damaging than usual. So not necessarily more often, just hurts more. That's um, uh, I suspect. The energies within this anchor, corrupted anchor, plus the effects of damage or aging have made it volatile and extremely unpredictable. Is it useful to you? Yes. Is it dangerous? Absolutely. And we've got Anomaly Encounters. Number one. Hooray! So I was in the deep zone taking notes. I screwed up a page and threw it aside. That was when it first happened. Something I couldn't see, but I swear was there. Ate the paper I dropped. Later I would hear it rummaging in the dumpsters. It's all those old journals we tossed out as part of the move. Those drew it out. It would eat cardboard, too. I heard you could get it to follow you by dropping scraps as you walked. You'd never see a thing, though. It was like a ghost. But you'd sure hear it. Yeah, there's a lot of that, actually. Anomaly studies, number four. Arda Cat Ref 279, briefly. A widespread blight. This tiny flying anomaly would bore into oil or gasoline tanks to seemingly drink from them. Rust-coloured, about the size of a horsefly, and fast-moving, these were common through the summer of 1962. Though tougher than an insect, most could be swatted or stomped on. Sightings are now extremely rare, but occasionally still locked. And that's that. So maybe a bit of a shorter episode today, if you've... Uh, been keeping track depending on how much I've chopped out as usual um, but I hope that you've enjoyed it whilst I put all this stuff away and uh, figure out what it was I was going to do um, I'll unlock some stuff probably and let you know what it was in the next episode but until then thank you for watching and I'll see you